Hello guys, in today's video we're gonna check out the best budget espresso machine in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and many more. To find out more information about these budget espresso machine you can check out the description below. If you want to get a best quality budget espresso machine according to your needs, then watch the video till the end and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have Mr. Coffee Cafe Bars to Espresso Machine. If budget shopping is a vague concept to you, or you're just a coffee fiend, we give you Mr. Coffee's Cafe Barista. It can do it all, and do it all very well. It's easy to use. Once you're done, it's also snap to clean up, and it doesn't hog counter space. It's hard to quibble with making it our top pick. It's just a fantastic coffee maker that punches above its weight in terms of value. The one thing that could be a huge turnoff is the price. We're ranking espresso makers for budget, and this one is definitely not really intended as a budget model. It's a better price than you pay for a much better espresso machine, but you can get one for much less money. All in all, this is definitely one of the best cheap espresso machines out there. All in all, we think this is the best affordable espresso machine available this year. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Nespresso Essence Mini Espresso Machine. If you're strictly into coffee pods, the Nespresso Essence Mini might be your top choice. It's small, compact, elegant, and designed to make outstanding coffee using Nespresso's capsules. Compared to the Mr. Coffee, it's also a lot more reasonably priced. It's a great alternative if you don't want that expense. Be aware, however, that it's designed for capsules. If you want loose grounds, this isn't the coffee maker for you. You can use capsules or grounds with the Mr. Coffee, which is one reason we dropped this one to the runner-up slot. Compared to the rest of the field, it's also pretty expensive. It might make great capsule coffee, but it'll also cost you a pretty penny. The number 3 position is held by DeLong Econ 155 Cappuccino and Espresso Machine. Of the budget espresso machines we reviewed, the DeLong Econ 155 might make the best straight-up espresso. If you're looking for an espresso maker that can compete with more expensive models in terms of quality but that delivers on value, this is a good candidate. Beyond making outstanding espresso, three things stand out about it. We like the way it looks. It's also pretty easy to use, and a snap to clean up when you're done. You can brew espresso in a hurry and not stress about the time it'll take to clean up after yourself. It does tend to vibrate, so you'll want to keep an eye on it. It's also pretty subpar when it comes to frothing though. It negates a lot of the value in buying a budget model if you have to purchase a frother separately. Its price also pushes up against the ceiling of what might qualify as a budget espresso maker. Next at number 4 we have Mueller Single Serve Cheap Espresso Machines. Nespresso sets a high bar when it comes to per-package coffee with its capsules, and the Mueller Espresso machine packs a wall for something in such a small package. If you're willing to spend a little more money for a budget espresso machine, it's a pretty good option. One thing to like is its size. It's a compact machine that won't take up a lot of vertical counter space. It's also got a sleek, elegant appearance that projects the smooth, rich coffee it turns out. When it comes to price, however, this one barely qualifies as a budget espresso maker. It won't break the bank, but if you're shopping on a budget, this one might be outside of it. It's also got a bit of a learning curve to it. The number 5 position is held by Stressa Manual Espresso Machines. The greatest thing about the Stressa Manual Espresso Maker is its portability. If you're going for a weekend of camping and want of a power source, you don't have to sacrifice great coffee to start the day. That also helps if a storm has knocked out your power. Even if you have power, you can still use it to make good coffee. There are limitations to that however. Because it's manual, you can't just relax and listen to the birds as your coffee brews. You have to put in the work. It's on the messy side and can make enough noise to violate the peace and calm of a quiet morning. It also doesn't do a great job at frothing milk or making complicated drinks, and you're limited to making coffee one cup at a time. There's a place for portable espresso makers, but the limitations of the stresso remind us that if you've got the counter space, nothing beats a great espresso machine. 
The number six position is dominated by Hamilton Beach Budget Espresso Machine. It's probably obvious to say that if the Hamilton Beach 40,715 made a better cup of coffee, it would have gotten a better ranking. But there's a reason we say that. It does a lot of the ancillary things that separate a really great espresso machine from the merely very good. It's inexpensive, takes up only a little space, and is easy peasy to clean up. For someone who's tight on money, space, and time, these are important qualities to look for in any kitchen gadget. But this machine is supposed to be for making espresso, and it doesn't make it very well. The frothing power is pretty weak and takes a long time to heat up. It also doesn't make a very good cup of coffee compared to the others we looked at, and the construction is flimsy. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Soda Cappuccino and Espresso Maker. Soda is Espresso and Cappuccino Maker is a good-looking gadget. It also makes a pretty decent cup of espresso, full of rich flavor that makes the most out of good beans. Its price is right at the middle point for most of the espresso makers we reviewed, so if you're looking for something simple, it might not be a bad option. If you want something that can do more, you'll want to look at something else. These days, it's pretty easy to add features so you get the most out of your dollar, but the Sodic is a pretty basic machine. Even though it's not very expensive, it's still of limited value. There are two things to watch. The first is that it can get hot, as in too hot to touch hot. It also doesn't turn itself off. If you forget that it's on and put in a carafe with just a little coffee in the bottom, you could have one heck of a mess to clean up later. The number 8 position is held by Nespresso Virtuo Espresso Machine. When I want to talk about a great espresso machine that does not come at high price, the first company that I turn to is Nespresso. Their machines from the Virtuo line, like this Virtuo Original Machine, are very convenient and easy to use. They can be used with the virtual capsules that have a barcode on the top, telling the machine exactly what type of coffee it needs to brew each time. Next, at number 9, we have Nespresso Virtual Plus Espresso Machine. This is the second machine of Nespresso's virtual line that I will be talking about. Just like the previous machine, this one also brews coffee using centrifusion technology. This ensures that you will get a cup of perfectly brewed coffee whenever you use the machine. Just make sure that you have the right kind of capsule for it. The Virtuopolis has mostly the same features as the Virtuo, but with added automatic features, which are pretty slick. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by DeLonghi Stilosa Espresso Machine. This machine was created by DeLonghi, one of the best coffee machine manufacturers in the world. If you are into coffee, there is no way you have not heard about this machine. It is not only a great brewer, but it also comes at the most affordable price on this list. Thanks to the amazing design, you will be able to use this machine for years after you purchase it. Some important parts in the machine are made from durable stainless steel, including the boiler used to heat the water. You can rest assured that the boiler as well as the other parts will last for years and will not cause you any problems at all. That's all for today. We upload all types of machine and machine accessories review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.